I'll see you back. Come, come, come. Big truck. Well, Thomas, it's been a long time since the DP World Tour has been back in Asia, but we're here in si Singapore this week. How much are you looking forward to teeing up? Yeah, it's nice. It's nice to be back. Uh, it's been, a, as you said, a long time and, you know, it used to be a, a big part of our schedule and it's nice to be back here. We've had some tough years in, in the world and now it seems like we can come back to do what we normally do and it's uh, yeah it's nice to be in back it's nice to be back here at Laguna you know it's uh, that's certainly a while ago since I've been here um, but yeah it's a uh, different golf course and and developed a lot so but Singapore has always been a favorite stop for so many players so it's 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 really it's really nice to be back there's a lot of the guys that on tour you know sitting in that players lounge has never been to Singapore which is quite remarkable as it used to be you know, one or two stops every year on, on tour through Singapore. So it's, um, yeah, it's a bit different uh, to listen to the guys that get to experience this for the, for the first time. You mentioned Laguna, you've played here before. Just give us a little insight into this track. It looks a little bit wacky in places. Um, is it more of a mental struggle around here at times? Well, I think you've got to get used to, you know, it, it is a different kind of track. It, uh, there's a lot of undulations, a lot of things going on, but, you know, it's uh, just got to get your mind set for the week, that's for sure. We're edging closer to that magical 600 number on the DP World Tour. I think you're 11 starts away now from that. But you seem to have got this new lease of life. You seem to be enjoying your golf again after that win in Mauritius. What's it, what's it like to, to still be around competing? Well, it's nice. I, I, enjoy, I enjoy tour life. I enjoy being about uh, around the youngsters. I mean, it's a, they play a different game than I do. And, uh, you know, that can at times be maybe a little bit difficult. But I... I worked hard over the winter. I worked on, on my game and worked on my swing and, and just trying to get a little bit better in, in corners. I still got certain things that I feel like I can do equally to, to the best players out here I and mean, maybe even a little bit better than some of them. So that can make me come around golf courses. Uh, I still have that experience that takes me around places at times. So I feel like there's still a golf in me. Uh, you know, I, I enjoy seniors golf. I enjoy playing with the guys that I obviously play tour golf with, but I still feel like I, I want to be out here and, and compete on, on the main tour as, as much as I can. And I take a lot of inspiration from Harrington and, and seeing that he, you know, he enjoys his seniors golf, but he loves coming out and trying to compete with, with the best players in the world. I think that never really leaves you. And, and the day you give it up, and you just go and play seniors golf. I think you'll uh, you'll fall into probably playing a little bit worse and 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 not being as competitive in your mind as as you want to be. I, I feel like I I still have that competitiveness in my head and and you know my golf in the last couple of years have not been up to it. But I feel like it's better uh, now and it's growing uh, slowly. And then I take a lot of inspiration from from the way Podrick plays and and try and and just work harder and get back to those kind of ways that. You know, made you a good player back in the day. Uh, there's no substitute for working hard. And just finally, you mentioned the youngsters there. We've got a 15-year-old in the field this week. Sorry to say, it might make you feel a little bit older. But what one piece of advice would you give someone just starting off their golfing career? That's that's that was invaluable to you. Well, I think you've got to, at an early age and uh, early stage in your career, you've got to enjoy the moments that you have and not really take them too seriously. You got to remember that when you play amateur golf, you you go up all the time against guys your own age, and that's a 
that's a very safe environment to be in uh, and that goes not if you're 15 that also goes if you're 18 19 20 and you come out of amateur golf you've been in a world that is very around the same age of you and now all of a sudden you go into a golf tournament where people are very different very you know you've got some of the best in the world that's right up in the middle of their career at the peak of their of their golf and and when you're young that can be quite daunting so don't take it too seriously and don't expect too much of it but go out and try and enjoy those moments that you get early on in your career and learn from them and learn from watching learn from watching some great players what can you improve what can you do better uh, we can all learn from from other players and what they do and and that's you know open your eyes open your ears and and, and not really I see a lot of young players that come out with this kind of attitude that they know everything uh, and that's a dangerous place to, to come out because there's a lot to learn from amateur golf and then turning into the professional ranks. That's brilliant advice, Basil, this week.